you know, for a nation that has got a big fat chunky problem with gender-based violence, I am shocked with the reaction by women in South Africa to my case. Never mind my case, but cases similar to mine too. Cases where women have literally been strewn, thrown on the floor, left to lie there like cadavers in a carnage at a vehicle accident site. That they might be consumed by scavengers out here in these streets that call themselves men. Men exploiting a situation of a woman because they make an observation that other women could not give a rat's behind to do anything about it. I gave my life to Christ in 2011. As a result, I'm a woman of a different status. I am beloved of God. I apparently surpass them all, even though many women have done excellently. And when a man marries me, he is one that finds favor from the Lord because he found a good thing. I am a crown on the head of a man, and I'm the kind of woman that ought be loved as Christ loved the church. I am supposed to be wed off to a godly man, that I might sing the Song of Solomon, and pride myself in being doted over by a loving father in heaven who gave me a man that can take care of me like a good steward of God's gifts. Yet, I have been awarded to some pretty licentious men who are pornographic in how it is that they even look at a completely modest woman who want to marry me really quickly because they realize that they found something good that every other woman in the street has abandoned. That is the South Africa you have manufactured. The result is gender-based violence. The result is perfectly viable great girls ending up withdrawn, aloof, and disconnected from society because they married horrible men. You are creating dastardly diseases out of your own communities. You're getting women infected with HIV. You're getting them infected with HPV, with the clap trichomoniasis gonorrhea that were celibate before they got married because they were wed off for crying out loud to some pretty diabolical men. Far be it for me to pray to God for a husband, be single for 13 years and end up married to a man that's going to give me gonorrhea, a man that's going to give me trichomoniasis, a man that's going to give me HPV, the clap and HIV all in one sitting because he cannot remain faithful given that he has no Holy Spirit. I am not about to be burdened with a diseased fool spiritually and physically because for the life of me, I could not survive a slew or a battalion of soldiers for the devil called women who insisted that I marry the kinds of men that they married. I waited on God. I get to be different.